Show's almost over. I'm sure there are girls inside who'd be happy to oblige. Made some kind of mistake. Why don't you tell me what you think you're doing and then I'll... I'm taking you to the Queen. back to the beginning. Arya in the house of black and white. And she's sweeping. Yep. After born Cinderella. <laughs> From riches to rags. <laughs> Pretty sure she went the opposite way of Cinderella. Okay. <laughs> then we went to King's Landing. Yeah, because not much happened in that first yeah. <laughs> scene. That was and just showing her sweet. Yeah, the one guy died. Because the, the water is obviously poisoned. I wouldn't drink it. But Tom and then Marjorie got. Wedded and bedded. Yep, yep. Tom and was having a good time. Oh, sweet summer child. <laughs> sweet summer child. Oh, what'd you think of uh, Cersei when we first went to King's Landing? Everybody's hollering for Marjorie. Oh, I could just see this <laughs> jealousy. Just, I could just see the jealousy. Yeah, she's not a big Marjorie fan. I don't believe. No. As the one which said, "You, you will be in power for a time until someone younger and prettier comes and takes your place." Yep. Pretty sure that's Marjorie. All right. Right but, about that time was when I was positive it was Cersei. <laughs> when all the clues came together. Uh-huh. Well, all right, let's go to Winterfell. Um, Ramsey filleted some guys because they wouldn't pay the taxes. Yep. And then the sons paid the taxes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Roos tells him that he needs to get married. Sansa's married <laughs> off for the fifth time? Fifth. Fourth? Well, originally to Joffrey. Joffrey. And then to Robin. Robin. Oh, wait. Tyrion, Tyrion. and then Robin, Robin, and now Ramsay. Now so four. So four. For the fourth time. She's like 16. Wow. <laughs> Marriage doesn't like her. <laughs> I don't think she likes marriage. Um, so yeah, what do you think of Littlefinger taking her to Winterfell with that? Everyone just keeps on marrying off our Sansa. What do you think? Or Littlefinger always has a plan. What do you think his game is? Do you think? Gain more power. It's pretty much his entire goal in life. Right. Be the most powerful man in Westeros. Just if he keeps at it, maybe the most powerful man in the world. <laughs> but Possibly. I'd have to say he's one of the best game players in the show. Yes, definitely. He started the game. <laughs> he started Not the toughest the guy in the world, but. <laughs> I can't fight him. <laughs> Did you say that? <laughs> I was quoting him. <laughs> Anna? <laughs> what? Okay, so Brienne's going to train Pod to fight. Yep. But, 
Uh, yep. And because he wants to be a knight. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, Stannis and John I have written down. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was when John was, refused. Yeah, that was when John refused because he's now Lord Commander. Yup. Then Davos talks to John after Stannis walks out. Yep. What did Davos have to say? Uh, he had, uh, shoot. It is... What's his name? Ollie. Oh, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's his name again? Ollie, um, recite the end of the black. Yep. Which, and he pointed out, I am the shield of... It guards the realms of men. Yeah. And he mentioned something about that. Because it's not just protecting the wall, it's protecting everything and... Yeah, but the wall protects everything. Right. That so was, that was John's wall, argument. protect everyone else. Where Davos was saying the North will never be safe with the Boltons in charge. Mm-hmm. Little does John know that Sansa's at Winterfell now. Yay! Maybe there'll <laughs> be a family reunion. Finally. After five seasons. <laughs> You and them were reunions. It needs to happen. Um, okay, Arya was introduced to the Waif, is her name. The Waif. What do you think of the Waif? She... Hmm. I don't know. Because, like... She wants to get, she was seeing if, like, Arya would be basis. Right. Just a test. Yeah. An early on test. What'd you think of Jock and saying, well, if you're no one, why are you surrounded by all of Arya's stuff? Arya's clothes, Arya's this, Arya's silver. <laughs> she went through it all out. Except for Needle. Right. Needle she hid for no one to find. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, then they go back and it's, um, another body's taken in to the house of black and white. Make it it's washed. And the washing. Confused at all? Very. <laughs> Not quite the Hogwarts school of assassins that you were expecting? No, no defense against the dark arts. <laughs> okay. Alright, and then we are going back up to Winterfell. Um, when Sansa and Littlefinger arrive. Yeah. A few things happen upon arrival. She gets to meet Ramsay, mm -hmm. meets Roose. And then... Uh, what's her face? Uh, um, the Miranda. Miranda. Yeah, the other M. Other M. Five M's. Yep, five M's. Miranda, I can see the jealousy. And yeah. envy. Mm hmm. Just rolling off her. <laughs> Not happy whatsoever. Mm -mm. Um, then we pan up to the wall. Mm hmm. John needs to find somebody to dig a latrine. The ginger. I can't remember what his name is. The ginger. Um, that, what do you think of uh, him appointing Sir Alistair first ranger? Keep your friends closer, put your enemies closer. Go on with that. Those are very good ways to put it. And then he decides to send Janos to an outdated castle. To well, get, you better To revamp up. <laughs> I mean, you let a man as many castles on the wall for the up-and-coming war with the White Walkers. Right. And the Whites. So. Well, Janice wasn't happy about that. No. And... He got his head chopped off. How do you feel about that? Oh, you can cross the name if you want to. Where is he? Jan Janice? 
Yep, right there. And <coughs> Janice Slip is dead. Everyone's he won't be dying. killing any more babies. Everyone just keeps on dying. <laughs> it does happen in the show a little bit. Especially the main characters. Right. Um, we do have to add a couple names as soon as we find that dry erase marker. Yeah. Because we need to get... I blame Cora. She was messing with it. No. Eh. I assume. <laughs> it's very possible. Either that or it could have been... Either. We have other dry erase markers around, I think, but... We got a couple because I want to add the waif. She was introduced. Uh, and where we're about to go to right now, the High Sparrow. High Sparrow. Because Cersei yeah. went to talk to the High Sparrow. Mm-hmm. What do you think of him? Upon the introduction of him. Very priestly? I don't know. We literally got Holy one scene with him. <laughs> yeah, we only had the one. But didn't that come out to... Kind of hard to judge people on their first impressions. Right. Well, that came about after... I didn't write that down. I mean, look what happened with Theon and Ramsay. Like, yeah. season two. Season three. Four. Yeah. Yeah, Theon changed. Season three was the one season where Theon was tortured. Yep, yeah, through season. the entire season. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he thought Ramsey was one of Yara's guys. guys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> never, <laughs> that didn't, never judge people in their first impression. That didn't work out so well for Theon on that one. So, mm -hmm. um, But what brought Cersei to the High Sparrow? Um, the high septing guy. <laughs> yeah, the high septing guy was publicly humiliated. After getting caught in a brothel. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he went complaining, but she threw him in dungeons. Mm -hmm. So then we get a short little scene with Cersei and Kyburn. Mm -hmm. Um, talking about Littlefinger. And there was that little jump at the end. Yep. With the what do you think's going on there under that blanket? Frankenstein. Frankenstein. <laughs> well, Frankenstein's monster. Right. Frankenstein would be... Kyburn. Kyburn. Yeah, right, right. Um, Frankenstein's the monster, not the... Uh, Frankenstein's the doctor, not the monster. Right. Okay, well, that pretty much brings us... All the way to the end scene with Tyrion Varys. Mm -hmm. And a surprise entrance of Ser Jorah. Yep. So, which queen is he going to take Tyrion to? Well, I mean, Danny's obviously closer, but Danny also banished him. So, I mean, at, he. Jorah obviously knows it's Tyrion. Yeah. And there's a very large price on his head. But, I mean, if he knows it's Tyrion, and he know he obviously knows uh, Jamie killed the, um, Danny's dad, he could be bringing Tyrion to Danny. But Cersei's, it's like... Cersei's like 60% and then Danny's like 40% of chance. Uh -huh. It feels like that. You got odds going on then. Yes. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Um, yeah. Danny's a lot closer. Yep, Danny is a lot closer. Yeah, because Lance's is right in there. And yeah, Marine's over there. King's Landing is a long ways away from there. Yeah, very long ways. So, what are your overall thoughts on this episode? My brain hurts. Your brain hurts. You always say <laughs> My that. My brain always hurts. Um, it's because in an hour there's that many scenes. Mm. <laughs> I'm always surprised by how many scenes I write down. It's taking up the entire page. Um, but a lot happens in every episode. All the scenes happens. are important, so that's what I like about this show. Mm-hmm.
everything is important. It's only 8 o'clock and I'm more tired. Oh. You were so busy today. I know. <laughs> I took a sick day because my head hurt and my neck was hurting as well. So I took a sick day. And then it's only your second. <laughs> and I watched YouTube. Only the second movies. one. You were supposed to be reading Game of Thrones though. I, w I, w I read a little. <laughs> I read like 40 pages. <laughs> Um, there, I'll ask because people wondered because we brought that up. How are you liking the uh, book so far? It's really good. I finished yeah. up episode two in the book. Hmm. Took 200 pages to get through. Yep. About two episodes worth of material. Um, so there's going to be like eight episodes and like a hundred, eight episodes and like 600 Pages that you have to go. Yeah. But and she is ahead of me now. Yes. By a lot. Right. Dad, because you took the book away from me. Well, I need to be able to read it and bring it over to Mom's house. Yeah, I know. Hey, you got a book report. I don't have a book report. I can read it yeah. at my own pace. Yeah. So, um, in the show, they just get... Uh, Brand had... Like, in the book, Brand has an entire chapter of, like, five pages, I think. Of just like five pages, all dedicated to Bran waking up, and then in the show it gives like a two, three second clip of him it's waking like, up. <laughs> Did that correlate um, with Lady getting killed? Were they like side by side pretty much in the book, too? Pretty much. Yeah. Though Bran's dream, dream, it showed, it had, um, he was. He had his sight already, and he was, he saw uh, Sansa weeping, and this must have happened like literally right after. Cause... Did you say there was something else in that dream? Yeah, something yeah. about shadows. Like, he saw shadows in the north and over King's Landing. There's two shadows with his dad, like where their their dad was, no. and then there he went over to just like Essos, and under the sun there was a shadow of a dragon, something like so that. So they really mentioned the dragons in the book. Yeah. <laughs> but the show we didn't get till episode. Two. Outside the eggs. Yeah. Um. Well, good job. You're a quarter way through the book now. You got about three weeks to finish it, though. You got to hurry. I know. <laughs> You're on a timeline. I'm on a very strict timeline. Um. So, all in all, pretty good episode. Looking yep. forward to the next one. Mm -hmm. Uh, see where we're going from here. Uh, any predictions? Draw something cool. Off the wall. I don't know. <laughs> I normally make these up on a fly. Just like what my gut feeling is at that exact moment. I don't really think about them. I just okay. go with it. All right, I'll ask about something that we didn't touch on in this one because they just took off. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think Jamie and Bronze little trip south is going to go? We didn't, that wasn't in the episode, so yeah. usually they don't stay away from storylines too long. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I assume they will uncover some sort of trouble knowing the show. <laughs> Have a little trouble on the uh, way? Isn't there always? Sansa had no problem going to Winterfell. Until she got there, I guess. Well, I mean, there was a little of that correlation with Brienne and Pod. Well, uh, yeah. I but Littlefinger's forces are a little stronger, so <laughs> she wasn't in any danger. No, she wasn't in any danger, but she still had tr trouble. Right. Okay. So you're right. There's always trouble. Thank you. Okay. Well, I think we're going to wrap this one up. Um, mm -hmm. Good discussion, Anna. And we will see, see you guys time. for episode four. See ya. Yay. <laughs>